On today's show, we're taking a look at the Creality 1.1.4 version motherboard with silent steppers. Stick around. Hey, welcome to the First Layer. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here twice a week, every Wednesday, and live stream Saturday night. If you're new to our show, this is a show that explores the world of 3D printing. And we do that through showing you different products, showing you how to upgrade your machines, different filaments, and all kinds of great stuff related to 3D printing. So if you are new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Also, ding that little bell so you get notified every time that we do a brand new episode. Well, let's jump into it because we've got a lot to cover today. And on today's show, we are looking at the new board from Creality. This is the Ender 3 Silent Motherboard, they call it. It is still the same version number as a previous iteration of this board. And we'll just go to a, a shot of that. So this board is a 1.1.4 version board, and that was the same version board that they previously put out. What makes this one different is that it has 2208 stepper drivers on it to make it a silent board. So what we're going to do is first and foremost, we're going to test the sound of our Ender 3 before the board, and then we'll test it again after the board. So first and foremost, what we have to do is go ahead and get our machine uh, to a state where it's going to recognize the sound. So I've got my little phone here. I'm just going to turn it around. And uh, I have an audio meter on here. So right now, we're right around, with me talking, we're up around 70 decibels. Yes, I'm a very loud person. So we'll let that come down, and we'll hear the ambient sound of the machine before we home it. Okay, so we've got our audio meter all set up. We're ready to test the sound of the printer. So you can see there that the printer is giving us right around 65 to 68 uh, decibels while it is uh, homing. Now let's start a small print and we'll see uh, just exactly how loud it is. So as you can see, our ambient sound got up around 60 decibels where we kind of maxed out. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to install this board. And we'll just give you a nice little close-up of that. So here is the new Creality board, the version 1.1.4 with the silent steppers, which came out of this box. You can see that's a silent motherboard on there. So we are going to put this into this machine. First and foremost, though, I want to talk about a couple of caveats with this board. This board, you may have seen on the internet, some people have said that this board comes with a bootloader. Well, this board does not come with a bootloader, and this is the second one that we've tested to see if it has a bootloader. That's why this one was out of the package uh, when we uh, showed it to you initially. Now. It does have firmware on it. It is Ender 3 firmware. So we are going to put this in and we're going to check to see if this is going to make our board any solid. So there is firmware, but there is no bootloader on this particular board. And we'll show you that a little bit later on. All right, so we've moved the uh, printer over to a side where we can work on this. 
Now, all of our electronics are underneath the cover here, and we're just going to give you a close-up of what I'm doing. We're going to use our um, 1.5 millimeter wrench, and we're just going to open those up. And now this is a virgin printer. It has not ever been opened. So this is the first time we're opening this one up. We'll just take out the screws one at a time. Now there's three screws that hold on this top plate. And for those of you that are new to this, this is why we're kind of showing you how to do this so that you can see what we're doing. I'm just going to go ahead and take out all these screws and then I'll lift the top and show you what's underneath the top. Okay, so once you have the three screws out, you're going to lift the top and don't pull on it because there's a fan attached there and you may damage the fan. What we're going to do is we're just going to pull that fan out of there. You want to make sure that you grab the connector and not just the wires. So we've unconnected that. I'll just kind of give you a look inside there so you guys can see what that board looks like. And you can see the board that's in there is a version 1.1.3. So we're going to replace it with this new version, and we'll just move that over here and tilt it down a little bit so you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. Now, the one thing that Creality does is they put hot glue on everything, and it is a real pain in the backside when you're trying to get things off. So just be careful when you're removing that hot glue. You can grab a pair of tweezers and uh, just go ahead and start to remove that hot glue. We're going to take out the SD card so that it is not in our road. We'll just take that out and put it off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of this nonsense that is all glued in here so that we can get this board out. What I recommend you do once you've got uh, the glue taken off is go ahead and take a picture of your motherboard so you know exactly where all of those cables are going to go back into. We're just going to snapshot this real quick. There we go. we got a couple of snapshots. That way we can tell exactly where all of our wires are going to go. And then we're just going to start to unplug everything. And we will come back when everything's unplugged. So here's a pro tip. If you forget which thermistor goes where, what you want to do is as you unplug them, just take one of them, the first one that you unplug, and put a little bit of tape around it. That way you'll know that that was the first plug you unplugged and the last one to go in. So you can see we have the two boards here. This is the board that we took out, the 1.1.3, and this is the board that we are going to put in, the 1.1.4 version with the silent steppers. Now there's not a whole lot of difference other than the version number to the naked eye on these two boards. Um, there are, there's a one noticeable difference and that's this IC chip right here. You can see that the one on the 1.3 is shorter with more pins and fatter while the, uh, one on the 1.1.4 is longer and has fewer pins. So let's go ahead. We'll get this installed now that we've got the old one out and you can see that we've got all of our cabling there. So we're just going to go ahead and put this in and we'll wire it all back up and you'll be good to go. All right, so we have the main board back into the Ender 3. We're just going to hook up our fan for our top cover. And we are going to start her up and see what happens when we apply a print to it. See if it's any quieter. Those big hands are getting away. There we go. Now we're in there. We'll just take this cover. We'll line it up correctly. Make sure that none of these wires are interfering. And then just go ahead and button it up with the screws that we took out earlier. 
All right, so we've got the new board in. We know that it's a lot quieter because we've already kind of tested it. Here's the old board on out of the box. And uh, now we are going to set this up to do a print. And while it heats up, we will check to see exactly how much sound is coming from the printer. Well, there you go. As you can see by the side-by-side -side comparison shot, we're going to put up a couple of stills here, that the new board, the 1.1.4 version silent stepper board, is coming in at about 10 dB, a little bit more, less than the stock 1.1.3 version board, and which makes for a much quieter experience with your Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. So would I go ahead and buy this board? Absolutely. Those Trinamic drivers are making all the difference in the noise level that you're going to get from your printer while it is printing. So they are great little steppers. They're 22.8, TMC 2208, pardon me, uh, Trinamic drivers on that board, and they really do make a difference in the overall sound that your printer is going to make. Now, with that said, my friends, thank you very much for joining us. That wraps things up. I'm going to keep that board in this machine because I think it works just great. And now I can take it home and won't disturb my wife. And that's always important. Happy wife, happy life. You guys all know that. I want to thank Brian Baker, who's behind the controls today. There he is. And uh, also Jess Cornaching, who's not with us today. She is usually in here as well. Now we're going to go ahead and let you know that we've got some merch available for you. If you want to go to our Teespring website, our Teespring store, uh, slash the-first-layer, you can get yourself some t-shirts, you can get yourself some uh, mugs, and all kinds of other stuff like hoodies and so on. So support the show by going and checking out some of the merch uh, very soon. I want to thank Spool 3 d for this wonderful space that they give us, because that is how we bring you guys the show each and every week. And uh, Spool 3D's got everything that you need, from printers to accessories, and of course filament, and uh, any of the upgrade parts you may be looking for. So check them out today at Spool3D.ca, print it right, print it with Spool 3D. Well, that's my time for this show. I'm gonna run out of here and get some lunch. That's what I'm gonna do. And you guys go ahead and get some grub into you as well. We'll see you guys Saturday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for our live stream where we're going to answer your questions uh, live on our show. So see you then. Until next time, remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print.